back to another one. Your old nigh old beefcake. We're out here. Yeah, we're out here. Hey, here's a Starlink. We're pigeon hunting, and it's extra windy. I hope uh, the audio just isn't drowned it out here. Here we are. We already got the spread up. This is the first morning hunt, morning pigeon hunt of the season. And uh, Gerald and I just doing a little two man. Gerald's got some new tricks up his sleeve. Uh huh. <laughs> But we got the, the dive bomb silhouettes out here and uh, just a little two man. This is uh, this is just a little feed, nothing big. There is maybe 50 birds here and Gerald, he's had an itch. I've had the itch and the pigeon hunting, it's been scratching that itch, darn it. No blind today, just sitting on buckets. <laughs> fat boys, fat boys out here. I need to, uh, I'm gonna have to start running and getting ready for the season, dude get ready for elk season I'm a little behind yeah it's like six months <laughs> six months behind uh, Gerald's actually gonna be going to Oregon to, to, to elk hunt in September yeah end of September I'm taking my dad to Oregon and it's gonna be the a physical beatdown. oh yeah I'll die <laughs> so he's got to get whipped up into shape I'm gonna start running but in other news we're out here uh, you guys have been liking the, the pigeon hunts the little that we get to do uh, hopefully we shoot something. We probably already could have shot 10, but we were a little late getting to the field. I I didn't set my alarm, dude. I completely forgot. I think he's coming. I think so. This might be our first shot, Big Daddy. Taking a second of 30 mile an hour wind. Yeah, it's like it's literally 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts. You get first bird. All right, I'll try. He's got to back me up. Oh, he's doing it. That's a dead first bird, baby. There's three. Oh, three coming, baby. Oh. They don't even mind the shotgun. All right. The singles, definitely. Oh, he just... Your turn. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, Bob. Get over here. Get him. Oh, God. He landed. Oh! <laughs> Oh, gave him the old Arkansas. <laughs> oh, two more. Oh, those are the same two. Look at this group. There's a group of, like, oh, those aren't pigeons. Oh, no, not pigeons. Anyways, two birds down. We both whiffed on the first shot. And Gerald had to give him the old, the old ground slap daddy. But there we go. Hit the thumbs up button. Just a little two-man hunt out here. Um, not expecting a lot. I'd say if we kill ten, ten I think if we kill ten, it's going to be a good hunt. These little ones, these little hunts like this are fun. By the way, the new duck seasoning is out and available. Not sure what date this uh, video goes up, but go down in the description, pick you up some. It's cheap, you won't regret it. I guarantee you'll be going back for more. No bands? No bands. Not yet. Nope. Got, got it on you, said last not, time. you said not yet. We got two more to kill before we get a band. Two more to kill before we kill. <laughs> We got, uh, we got 15, 20 birds floating out front here. These little two-man hunts, man. If y'all uh, can get out there, even on a public land, little two-man duck hunts are, are one of the funnest things, especially when you're a beginner and all you have is public land. Get out there, two guys. It's a good time. This reminds me of dove hunting. Isn't it? It's almost like, it's like pre-dove season for us. It is. We got an extra month or so left. Plus I the think. weather. Two months. Two months. Just kidding. September 1st. Uh, plus the weather. It's nice and cool today. Lots of wind as you can tell, but it's nice and cool. I bet it's like 70, 76, 76 degrees. Beauty. Beauty! Here we go, brother. Spray and pray. Oh, oh. We got them balled up, boys. We're about to unload the cannons. Better go. Go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Dude, we just rained them. I just kept, I kept following them and squeezing yeah. the old trigger, baby. That felt good. We rained four out of them. I think it's just three. No, there's one, two, three, four. You can't see the second one because it's in line with the first one you see. Oh. 
four. They're flopping around. We better go do some pickup. Oh yeah, we gotta run away. Yep. <laughs> we got walkers, boys. We got walkers. That group of pigeons has been, I don't know, three, four, five hundred yards out in front of us, just dancing around for the last 20 minutes. They finally spotted us and they came, boy. Woo! <laughs> if you guys liked the little two-man pigeon hunt, smash a thumbs up. Look, let Gerald and I know, because it's fun. Here we go. Oh, that boy dead. There we go. That's a young bird there. Blue bar. There's another one. Another young bird. There's an adult bird. Well, there we go. No band? Nah, you said the next two birds we'd have a band. We just got four more. That's six, baby. Oh, the next set of two. Okay, I got you. Here's the spread from the other side. She's looking juicy. Uh, I didn't bring all my decoys. I just brought one. Huh? Are they coming? I just brought one bag of full bodies and uh, the pigeon, uh, the dive bomb silhouettes. Oh yeah, there they are. Five pack right here. Oh yeah, come on now. Woo! Bloody hands in the AM. Boy, do I miss that. You know, you go without having bloody hands in the AM for four, four or five months, you start to miss it. <sighs> Old dove. I'll tell you what, we got a lot of dove around. There are a lot of dove. A I'm ton. Sure they'll leave right before season. They always do. <laughs> it gets cold the end of August, and they just put, what, like two days of cold, and they're gone. Forever. Yeah. Well, this ain't bad. This is going quite well. Not bad for a little two man. Get in here, you two. Oh, these two look, they look promising. Oh, yeah. I'll take the left side. Ready? One, two, three. There's three more coming. <laughs> I just had to smoke. I think I'm pretty sure I smoked my uh, dive bomb silhouette too. I'm sure that silhouette has some holes in it. <laughs> See, this, is, this is the two pack, baby. One of these. Are that, hey, you're right. That was the two pack. <laughs> well, there we go. Two more down. Oh, God. Took maybe two or three too many shots. <laughs> I think I shot three times. Ah, oh, this is fun. Oh, I love the small ones. These small ones like this where they just trickle, those are the good ones. Yep, look, I knew I did. That's where I Arkansas'd them. Check it out. <laughs> the BBs just skipped right off of it. Slid past it. Old dive bomb silhouettes. Good thing is they're cheap enough. It don't really matter. There we go. Young birds, man. The ones that are doing it, mostly just juvenile birds. Young bird? They're all young. Let's see if this other one will get here and I'll try to get him. Yep. Hail Mary. Yep. I tried the long one. <laughs> You're like, hold on, Bob. There we go. One of them down. The other one was a long shot. Yeah, the other one, he was kind of, he was on the left side, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna concentrate on him while while Gerald does work up close. So another one down. What is that? Seven? Eight? Eight or nine. Well, that's where we're sitting. Gerald just made a good point. The wind, it's going straight this way. So we got a little side wind action going on. The birds will come up here, they'll hit the edge of the spread and they just stay right here. They flutter along the front edge right here. So either one of two things, we move the spread and give them a bigger hole so they'll get in uh, closer or we just shoot a little sooner. The good looking blue chick, check him out. Good looking blue chick. Look at him, good looking blue chick. There we go. 
I don't know. I have no idea what happened. We just dropped two. I'm sure I got it on the shot cam. I don't know if I got it on here or not, but another two down. They keep coming in pairs like this. We shot the first one. The The second one was probably 50 yards behind him. Didn't bother him at all. He just kept barreling in here. Boom, boom, taking turns. I shot the first one, Gerald shot the second one. It's fun. Any bands? No, but it's at least an older bird. Older bird, that's good. Hey, that came out a little bit better. Yeah. Old Gerald, he moved the spread, put some decoys and a mojo up in the cut wheat. Just spread it out and they actually came all the way into the spread and we hit, we shot them up here. So I think that little bit of motion up there definitely intrigued them to keep coming. Keep coming up wind. We went through some shells already, dude. Yeah, we suck at <laughs> Yeah, we got a white one. We got a full whitey. He's out yonder. But here's another two pack sliding our way. Come on. Come on. They hate us. Not our birds. Not our birds. <laughs> that, the, not our birds. <laughs> How many times have any of you guys been on one of them waterfowl hunts and the guy that's running it? Nah, those aren't our birds. Those aren't our birds. Those aren't the birds that I scouted yesterday. Ours come from this way. <laughs> a waterfowler can make a million excuses in less than two minutes. Oh, goodness. This might be another spray and pray situation. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, please. Oh, come on. The one, pull him in. Do we let him go and wait? Shoot that one, Bobby. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> come on. He freaking turned a boogie, Dude, right? <laughs> he was boogieing. I was like, ah, man, that's going to be a... That was a good shot. Thank you. Well, Big check. group, yep. Yeah. You better go check him. He was a fast bird. He got in that wind and he just went Woof. Right there we go Yep, older bird That's an adult bird right there. Well, as you can tell no Fred today uh, We're leaving all the dead pigeons out in the spread and I can tell you what it helps. It helps a lot Well uh, it slowed down and we shut the last two pack and uh, what's going on now that pigeons are still coming out to the field but there is a group of probably 30 that are marching around out in the center of the field and the pigeons they'll see our spread first and then they see the birds just in the middle of the field and they go straight to it the birds in the field there's no motion at all they're just walking so Gerald was like, Bob, why don't we uh, turn off the mojos and see if it works? So we're going to give it a shot. Again, sorry for the wind. It's bad. Well, we are picked up heading out of the field. Uh, we ended with 14 total. 14, two-man little hunt. Not bad at all, really. <sighs> I got quite a ways to go yet. <sighs> yeah, this is a planted field. The farmer didn't care if we hunted it. He just said, don't drive on it, whatever you do. So always, always, always ask to drive in before you just go plowing in there. It doesn't matter how dry the field is. Make sure you ask the farmer that it's okay to drive in. Never assume that it's okay. A little pro tip. Well, pulling up at the shop here. Actually, not the shop, the lodge, I should say. It is hot. Check it out. 105 degrees 105 degrees let me repeat that oh my goodness and uh, if you guys have never been to Kansas I'm telling you right now oh man look how big this truck is Woo I love her Kansas is humid uh, I'm telling you it has to be one of the most humid states now I know Georgia Alabama y'all y'all are humid but Kansas, oof, thank goodness. Look, check it out. Looks like we have a uh, storm on the way. But this right here, this is what I wanna show y'all. I have an idea of what it is. I'm not completely sure, but I know it's gonna be epic and we need to open it together. All righty, like I said, I have an idea of what this might be. I'm not completely sure, I hope I'm right. Check it out, I've been doing all the unboxings with that custom knife that one of y'all sent me. 
I've been loving this knife. It is a uh, double boxed here. Let's see if we can get into it without, it's got a cut, uh, do not cut signs all over it. Here I go cutting. And it's got fragile signs all over it as well. It goes this way. You really boxed this thing up good, dude. Like, real good. All right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, the top and bottom's the same. All right, I'm lost. This is uh, always one of the trick of the trades is opening your guys' packages. A lot of these packages that you send are very fragile. A lot of them are rather expensive. We'll check this out. And uh, real quick before we <laughs> let all these styrofoam peanuts spill out, if you guys want to send anything, P.O. box is down in the description below. So if you want to send something, go down there, find the address. Oh boy, howdy, check this out. And that's where it'll be. Check this out. I was right. I was right. Oh baby. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this green wing teal mount. Check it out. Check this beauty out. Wow. Even put a little band on there and it says mounted by Steve Eckerd. E C C A R D Imperial Taxidermy. Check that out. Dude, thank you so much. So we should be able to unscrew it right here, there, there, and there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Holy smokes. Check that beautiful mounted tail out. Good job, dude. One heck of a mount. Check it out, this is how it sits. Just like that. <laughs> it's gonna look good here in the lodge. Wow, 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 this is insane. Steve at Imperial Taxidermy. Thank you so much, dude. That is gonna look great in here. I've had a lot of you ask, hey Bobby, can you use some taxidermy? And look at that beauty, dude. Beautiful teal, fully plumed out, looking good. Green winger. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. One of, <laughs> I hate to say it because we've got so many good gifts of signs that y'all have made. And I mean, literally so many good, good gifts of uh, the hand carved knife. But this one, but this one, y'all, my goodness. I'm blown away. Steve, thank you so, 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 so much. This is going to look good here in the lodge. Um, we're gonna have some mounts here. This mount actually sits like on a shelf where actually, I actually have the perfect spot for it. Check it out. Right here where you can see that double outlet right there, this whole deal along the top of that is gonna be a shelf. A shelf for good old taxidermy. That's where it might go. Plus, I've been wanting to uh, put a mounted bird in each room as well. It'll be uh, very, very you. Thank you, Steve, so much. Check Steve out again at Imperial Taxidermy right here. Check him out. How special. That, that's, that is a very special gift. I, it doesn't, the waterfowl uh, community, let me just get this out. I am so proud to be in the position that I am doing this, building the lodge, but more importantly, being here for and with you guys. You guys are the reason that I keep coming back. Uh, the waterfowl community, is truly amazing. Uh, great people out here. It's a tight community. Um, we, take a, we, we take our hunting serious because it's dangerous and we're with people and it comes out to just the community. The waterfowl community is amazing. Thank you guys. Again, if you guys wanna send something, uh, the PO box is down in the description below. Thank you, Steve. But I want to thank you all for being here. Like always, if you liked today's pigeon hunt, if you liked today's gift unboxing smash the thumbs up button let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section below we got some more lodge videos coming we have a frogging video coming that you do not want to miss it's very special me and my son that's all i can say 
thank you all for being here again. A uh, huge shout out to my notification squad. Y'all are always smashing the like button and commenting before the video even goes. Before you even end up watching the whole video, thank you. But again, I appreciate you guys, all of you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Again, if you want to help support the channel, one way to do it, check out the Ducks All Meat Seasoning. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. I've been putting it on every steak and hamburger chicken fish everything it's amazing lots of lots and lots of lots of catch clean cooks to come we did not do a catch clean cook today because i wanted to show you all this i had a feeling that's what it was but until next time peace i've been getting laid back baby you should know that i don't need your criticism pessimism i've been keeping it on the dl got a girl